St. Sophronia of Essex once said that the Christian living is impossible. All a Christian must do is, is die daily. And there's the struggle for prayer. And then there's the gift that's given of prayer. Something supernatural. It's not manufactured by us. It's, it's the light coming from on high, like a sunset that I'm witnessing the now after a horrendous storm that hit Nottingham. Last night, all day yesterday, it's a gift from on high. It's not just a technique. Let me just read what he says. Experience shows that authentic prayer opposes the entire complex of worldly energies. We live surrounded by a world that does not pray and only by a mighty effort do we break through this invisible but dense and stifling atmosphere. How true is that? How true is that? He carries on, we cannot overcome by our own strength the persistent influence of this atheistic and spiritually inert mass. Help comes from above and prayer clearly becomes a supernatural act. The fight for prayer is excruciatingly painful. There is no more difficult endeavor. But, he says, if we do not surrender, if we do not surrender, a moment will come when the beams of divine light, gentle yet powerful, will pierce the darkness which envelops us and our soul will learn to live in a Christian way. He talks about the difficulty of living Christ's commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. And yet, God gives what he asks for. And if we ask humbly, St. Sophroni says he'd pray, Christ, you descend into my heart and live these commandments and fulfill thy law in me. And he says God would do it. God would do it. And then again he felt abandoned back to himself, back to feeling the struggle. And in the struggle then came the relief after the storm. I think that's just the rhythm of life. After the storm, light. After the storm, rest. But a rest that we can't manufacture for ourselves is a gift from the God who is ever present to those who seek and strive after him. <laughs>